One driving factor in the emergence of disease management has been the increasing efficiency it has demonstrated with the integration of medical and communication technologies. Unlike traditional healthcare services, disease management connects healthcare providers with patients via telephone, internet, and mail. Currently, nurses in disease management use special applications and technologies to organize and manage their work as well as track the latest standards of care. In addition, nurses may also coordinate claims, pharmacy, lab, home monitoring, and individual information to more thoroughly evaluate patients. An added benefit to integration of technology into disease management is that it enables remote consultation, also known as telehealth medicine. This feature of disease management will allow less mobile individuals an alternative to going to the doctor's office, which for most elderly patients may be quite the difficult task. Furthermore, telehealth introduces a new platform for health information consolidation, which can be easily accessed by different healthcare providers. Consequently, with the combination of information and communications technology, disease management services are finding new and better ways to monitor, manage, and motivate patients. Monitoring technologies allow for 24-7 surveillance of patients. They include internet-enabled devices and appliances which transmit and record actions to create predictive behavioral models. One technology that is gaining strong support from disease managers is the smart toilet. The smart toilet allows healthcare providers to passively monitor, measure, and communicate to caregivers changes in blood glucose, weight, body mass index, and other vitals of patients. It is user-friendly and requires no technological knowledge by the patient. Management technologies allow providers to identify and prioritize patients requiring remote or home-based intervention. In addition to risk stratification software, management technologies include automated programs for routine triage, review, and assessment of patient progress. Services like Sorian Disease Management combine the telephone and the internet so that patients, physicians, and nurses can communicate with each other on a daily or weekly basis rather than every three months during a checkup. A year and a half ago, Lily Branham's doctor gave her some scary news. He told me that my heart muscles were extremely weak, really, that I could, I could drop dead at any time. Like millions of Americans, Lily suffers from a life-threatening disease called CHF, chronic or congestive heart failure. But she's learning it's possible to help manage the disease with proper diet, medication, and exercise, along with new IT solutions like this one from Siemens. Sorry, disease management is an interesting way of combining the telephone and the internet so that patients and physicians and their office nurses can communicate with each other on either a daily or a weekly basis rather than waiting for that every three month office visit or waiting for some crisis. The web-based system helps doctors and nurses monitor a patient's condition. Lily, for instance, logs her weight weekly and calls it into a computer. Her nurse tracks the results looking for unanticipated changes and reaches out to patients on a regular basis. Mr. Smith, this is Pat over at the Heart Center. How are you doing today? That makes the patients actually more comfortable a little with their disease and uh, makes them feel that there's somebody out there looking out for them and helping them. In the past, clinicians at the South Carolina Heart Center say they often wouldn't find out a CHF patient was deteriorating until they were rushed to the ER. That hasn't happened since implementing the system. Many of our patients have been enrolled in the program for a year and have had zero admissions to the hospital and zero trips to the emergency room. What we're doing is saying, Let's go for the small, early symptoms rather than waiting for crisis. A technique Lily says has served her well. I couldn't ask for a better situation, really. Ultimately, doctors say there's often plenty that can be done to help improve the quality of care and the quality of life for patients with chronic heart failure. And implementing this IT solution has proven to be one of them, with the added benefit of helping to reduce the overall cost of care. I'm Kate Brooks. The most challenging obstacle for providers has been motivating patients to stick to exercise and drug therapy regimens. Included among motivation technologies are new digital displays, various two-way communications, and entertainment integrations which coach and connect patients. A gadget called the PillPet is one of the more simple motivational technologies that may improve patient adherence to their medical plan. The PillPet reminds patients to take their medication with an audio alert and displays a sad face when it does not detect patient compliance. All in all, new monitoring, management, and motivating technologies will eventually lead to improvements in healthcare. 
MIT Age Lab has found that these innovations will reduce emergency events, stop health declines, improve healthcare efficiency, manage current conditions, and prevent the onset of new diseases. It may look like orderly Harold is watching television, but she's actually communicating with her nurse about her chronic heart disease, testing a new communications platform in development to improve home health care. It tells you so much. You can see about the condition, your procedures, your medicines, and getting healthy. It's a new spin on doctor house calls called Motiva, a broadband-enabled technology being developed by Philips, giving patients the ability to be involved in managing their health from their home TV. Here's how it works. The patient takes measurements at home. The information is then sent through a secure transmission to the patient's health care provider for review. A nurse can then send back educational content, personalized feedback, and motivational messages. They may receive information regarding upcoming surgery, tests they may have scheduled, fitness-related issues, nutritional issues. There is a virtual endless supply of videos that they can uh, be sent right to their television set as may be needed. The technology has the potential to not only motivate patients to take more control of their health, but also drive down chronic health care costs, reducing hospital readmissions, and allowing doctors to stay in better contact with patients after they're released. By interacting with the patients on a day-to-day -day basis, we can be more proactive. Problems can be detected earlier than they might be otherwise before the patient really gets sick and that will clearly help the patient's medical care. For Orderly, testing the technology is helping her stay healthy and stay positive. It's motivating me to keep my weight down, to keep eating healthy. You can't just do anything like you used to. And it keeps me out of the hospital, so it, it works. I'm Erin McLean. Healthcare is a necessity, but long-term hospitalization may not be. At Sigma Healthcare, we specialize in home health services. Whether it's physical therapy or nursing care, Sigma will come to your residence and make sure you get the care you need. Best of all, we work in coordination with your doctor. We also accept Medicare and most major insurance. At Sigma Healthcare, we take home health care to heart because everyone deserves to feel right at home. Disease management may be the solution to the United States' growing elderly population. By fusing disease management, home health care, and advanced technologies, home safety will increase, health care resources will be better allocated, health costs will decrease, and there will be drastic improvements in individual health. Global trends suggest that new geriatric care methods will soon be needed worldwide. For example, in China, over the last 50 years, the average life expectancy has doubled from 36 to 72 years. Unfortunately, China lacks the health resources to provide proper care for the elderly. Disease management may allow health providers to reach more individuals in a more cost-efficient way, not only in China, but other countries suffering from the same dilemma. In conclusion, if disease management services are successfully established in the United States, disease management may turn into a global solution to the problems associated with increases in average life expectancy. A paradigm shift from traditional curative medicine toward a more preventive disease management system may hold great promise, not only for the future of the elderly, but quite possibly for all of healthcare delivery.